Steve Schedule 4, one fall. On the way to the ring. From Parts Unknown. The Ninja. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another special match edition of the ACW Elite Tournament of 2001. I'm Hakeem Johnson, as always, your ACW commentator. And we are here for another round one match. It's Choji Akamishi, as you see, going into the ring. Very ominous here as well. But he will take one on one against one out of the Straw Hat crew, Monkey D. Luffy. Choji Akamishi has been a very surprising uh, talent of sorts. Another defunct turbo wrestler that was drafted onto Impulse here. And as a protege of Kinkura, a tag team partner of sorts. And he looks to make his own name here as he'll face Monkey D. Luffy. Here we go. And the opponent from parts unknown. The kid. Whoa. Oh yeah, because I truly missed that pyro. Nonetheless, here comes Monkey D. Luffy. As jubilant as he always is. Monkey D. Luffy. One half of the Straw Hat crew with Rona Zoro. Former ACW Tag Team Champion with Zoro. And tonight, looks to have another accomplishment under his belt. Being an ACW Elite Tournament winner here for 2011. And possible ACW Impulse Champion. Ladies and gentlemen, I did get word from Goku about something important that I will explain during this match. But as um, but for this match though, it'll be interesting because Monkey D. Luffy and Choji will go one on one. The winner of this match will meet either the ACW Cruiserweight Champion Ryoma Edgerton or Kekuro. So if Choji was able to win this match, he could be facing his uh, master of sorts. He could be facing his tag team partner in Kekuro. That'll be an interesting dynamic if that ever happens. Or Monkey D. Luffy versus Ryoma Edgerton, two cruiserweights that can show which one is the better cruiserweight. Even though Monkey D. Luffy doesn't consider that, and the Monkey D. Luffy just missed that splash. The rebound, getting Choji in place. Irish with the big man. Misses the splash once again. Very often for Luffy to miss the move twice. And Choji able to backflip with his big stuff, and her inverse DDT to follow. Ladies and gentlemen, like I was talking about, whatever, road break. Like I was saying, ladies and gentlemen, earlier, um, Goku, our ACW Animals general manager, has stated, oh my god, a power slam, but Goku has stated that Gohan will be at ACW Impulse in December. So that means the first ACW Impulse coming back from a hiatus, Gohan will be there, and he will explain his actions for what he did at Animania 2. I, for one, cannot wait. I cannot wait for Gohan to finally explain himself as to why. Why? Did he turn on Naruto? Why did he end Degeneration X? And why did he wait all that time to become the ACW Impulse Champion? There are so many questions that need to be answered in regards to Gohan and Bim being the Impulse Champion. And I bet you they will be answered at Impulse when we come back this December of this year. As Luffy's on the apron and Choji tosses Luffy out. And yes, there is like a little one second out of sync you know, audio problem there. So just try to ignore that situation. But Luffy right now going on the attack on Choji Akamichi after those punches. Takes down Choji and you know Choji is big. He's not fat, but he's pretty big enough for you to be handling him like that. And Luffy's doing a great job as Luffy is now stretching onto the arm. Let's go. Luffy now Irish puts Choji onto the corner. What's he going here for? No, John Kick missed Choji. Luffy pushes him. Luffy Takes him down again with an arm drag. And now what's this Luffy? Outside of the apron. Oh, there it is! Oh, my goodness. A topic of one, two, no, and Choji kicks out. That's Topa Tomica a Monkey D. Luffy. Now Luffy going to Irish with Choji Akamichi here. Takes out the big man. What's he going for? Hurricane off the top corner, the top terminal corner, and Luffy is just excited, he's just with glee right now, not the TV show, but the emotion, and right now he's on top of the corner, 
And Choji, this could be bad for Choji if Choji's not careful. Choji's back out. Choji's going up forward. And, whoa, man, it's a, a high elevated calf kick by Luffy. Luffy's just all over the place right now. That's probably a good idea, considering Choji's best game is a ground game. And right now, Luffy is not trying to let that in phase him. Cover. One, two, and Luffy lets go. Probably seen as though Choji would have kicked out anyways. And Luffy will ask for Choji now. Rolls, no. Drop kick to follow. Ladies and gentlemen, for those that haven't followed the tournament, I'll just give you a rundown on what the standings are right now for the tournament. In the first match of the round one series, Ryu defeated Kyo to advance to round two. The second match was Edward L. Ryu Kaiwatari. Kaiwatari put on a great the cover, rope break. Kaiwatari put on a great performance against Edward Elric, but Edward Elric was just able to pull out with the spear and will advance to the second round as well. He will meet Ryu in the second round match. And then we are now down to this match between Luffy and Choji Akamichi. The winner of this match will meet Kankuro or Ryoma Echizen when they go one-on-one -on -one in their next match of the round one series. And we still have a lot of talent left to go that will be in this tournament. You have guys like Mugen, Cloud Strife, Joe Agashi, a debuting Sagat, and many others in this match that are destined to become an elite. No pun intended, as told you right now with that rolling neck breaker, takes down Luffy. The cover, this could be it. One, two, no, Luffy kicks out. It'll be very interesting to see Sagat debut here on ACW. We still don't know what brand he's going to, actually. Because it was rumored that he would debut on Excel. And yet he's going to debut in this tournament, which is being hosted by ACW Impulse. So the speculation begins, where will Sagat end up? And we won't know for a little while until December. But nonetheless, Sagat will be in this tournament, and he will be facing Joe Agashi. Cover! One! Two! Kick out! As I was saying, it'll be interesting to see Sagat as he'll face Joe Agashi in this tournament, and it'll be the master of Muthai Masters going at it, and that'll be an interesting match. And Luffy with a little bit of a shoulder thrust of the gut of Choji. Choji now getting Irish once again by Luffy. Luffy, oh, and another one. Another shoulder thrust of the gut. And, uh-oh, here we go. Here we go. Another one. Buggy D. Luffy, gum gum! Blah! Never gets old. And this could be it for Choji here. There once was a man named oh. Gold Roger what? who was king of the pirates. He had fame, power, and wealth beyond what your the hell is dreams. This? Before they hung him from the gallows, these were the final words he said. My what, fortune what, is yours what the for the taking, but you'll have to find it first. What is going on I here? Everything I own in one piece. Ever since pirates wait, wait, from wait, wait, and, and Choji and Choji just clipped Luffy out the Luffy got distracted by that that. Weird One Piece intro. What the hell is that about? I, I, I have no, I, I have no idea what just happened. Luffy, Luffy was about to win this match. Oh my God! And the gore, the gore by Choji Akamichi to cover. One, two, and three. And Choji Akamichi just put an upset. He just beat Monkey D. Luffy. I am, I am in shock. That one, that one piece clip intro distracted Luffy for whatever reason, and it doesn't matter because Choji Akamichi just won with the gore and is now advanced to round two and will meet either Ryoma or his master Kankuro. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we'll see with more round one matches. I'm Hakim Okura. Hakim John's telling you to stay cool.